Hi, this is Dave from Midevent. Today we're going to show you how to properly address a Pico 3 and a Pico 5 Corel controller and an expansion board. Proper addressing is required for these devices to communicate with each other. When installing in the field, they will need to be addressed at that time. Keep in mind these are legacy controllers. There is a new set of instructions for addressing a C-Pico controller. First, you have to determine if the new board is a main board or an expansion. The full-size board, such as this, can be a main board or an expansion. However, a Pico E can only be an expansion. A full-size board might be labeled Pico, Pico 3, Pico 5, or Pico 5 Plus, depending on the age of the unit. The new replacement board will be a Pico 5 Plus, and it is a viable replacement for all older boards. Plug in the display and hold the three buttons on the right side. Change the display address to 32 and press enter. If the screen does not come online, then reset power on the controller and try again. If the screen is still not displaying, then enter 00 for the display address and press enter. Now you will need to determine the correct address for the replacement controller using this chart. Main boards are address 10 and expansions are address that match their number of the system. For example, expansion 1 is address 1. The controllers in this example have built-in screens for demonstration. These show the same screens that are viewable using the external displays previously shown. Now we will address the main controller in this example. Locate the small LED screen between J3 and J4. Place a small object such as a small control screwdriver into the pinhole. We see this address 10, which is correct. The lower board in this example will be used as expansion 1. So we will change the address to 1, hold the button for a few seconds until the number begins to blink. You can now change the number by pressing the button repeatedly or holding it down. Once the correct number is selected, leave it displayed for about 10 seconds. You will see the number start to blink much faster. To lock the new address in, you must cycle the power on the controller. If you are replacing a small Pico E instead, you will need to address it using the dip switches. These are located at the lower edge of the board where it says serial address. Use this chart to determine the position of the switches. Note the black boxes indicate the switch should be in the down position. The board will be addressed as expansion 1 in this example, so only dip switch number 1 will be pressed down. The rest of the switches will be in the up or off position. Now you are ready to connect the communication wires between the boards. Review the unit's wiring diagram to ensure the cables are connected to the proper terminals and be sure to use the cables rated for RS-45 communication. Now you can verify the connection at the main board. Scroll to Unit Status and press Enter. Scroll to Expansion Board Status and you should see the boards are currently online. Note that the Expansion 1 is connected in this example, but the status of all boards will be displayed. Again, this is Dave with Innovent. Really appreciate you watching today. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on our page.